Hello everybody, I'm not good to look back in the video. Today we're gonna be looking over the Minecraft 1.17 updates, all the blocks, items and mobs. Now I will be doing a follow-up video on this when 1.18 releases, because we are gonna get some new blocks, mobs, and then we're gonna then we're gonna explore the new biomes and the caves and stuff. But right now we have to get into this right away because this video is gonna be incredibly long. I think. In my opinion it is. But we gotta get started right away. So the first one we have here, we're going to go from the items. I have two sets of blocks, and then finally we're going to start, we're going to end off with bang, the mobs. Let's start with the items. So these are items. Now, do now try to forget these ever exist in, in these inventory, okay? Um, so yeah, we're going to take all these items, and we're going to pop them into our, um, inventory here. We'll try to, like, organize it a bit. Let me just see if I go down there. So we're going to start off. This, I don't know why I put these down here, but this is raw copper. Now you can see it looks very, very, very cool. The textures are awesome. I really like it. It's raw, raw copper. Really awesome. Really awesome item. You, I don't know what this could be used for. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to figure it out. You know my Minecraft Dark Deception map? I think I just found my soul shards. These are perfect for soul shards. Look at these. Dude, I have to do. I have to try this out. I have to, I have to do that. Oh. Also, new game changer. This is the glow item frame, which you can put items in. Wouldn't it be cool for me to update the entire map by getting rid of every single solitary one of these and replacing them with glow item frames and this to make this soul star stand out. This is really, this is really big noise is going on outside right now. I don't know what it is, it's, but it's very annoying. So then we have two items that are really, really interesting. This is raw gold and raw iron. Now I am gonna show you guys a raw gold block and a raw iron block, and I'm gonna be showing you guys that this did not, they did not change the texture of the gold block. Do not worry. Hold on, I'll show you what I mean in a bit. Then you have the glowing ink sack. Now, if I quickly just grab an item frame quickly, I can show you what you do with this. But right now, what you do is you pop that right there. I believe you have to crouch or hold it. I don't know how you do that, but I believe you, I think you craft it. Hold on. Yeah, you craft it. You don't place it down at all. Yeah, that, that, that that's really cool. What time is it? He stands there and he has to sit down. And quickly changes the day quickly. Yeah, this is the glowing ink sack. I really like this. It could be really helpful. This is the lightning rod. Now, I do classify this as an item because it does look like an item to me. So, I'm going to classify this as an item. This is the lightning rod. And if, you, if we quickly do something lightning quickly. Summon lightning bolt. It didn't work. I think I, I think I know why it didn't work. I think I have to stand on top of it. I think it only works in a thunderstorm. But yeah, this is this is the dining frame. What is that noise of summon? Guys, this is a really big noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Okay, so these are the stalactites. These are the stalactites. But also, you can turn them into stalactites. And these are hanging roots. I cannot place them down, unfortunately, because I have it has to be underneath the block. But that's that. Did I miss anything? I did. We have a little bit more. 
you have the rest of these. You're probably wondering where the clock is there, but I will get to why I put the clock in here for a good reason. Okay. This is the glowing glowing lynchin. Now it makes the case glow a bit, which is really cool. These are different amethysts. They range for different sizes. I do count this also as an item. Oh, the game by the sound. I love that sound. This is the powder snow bucket. I do also classify it as an item. If you stand in it, your screen starts to do this. And your heartbeat will turn blue. Which is really, really cool. This is the bucket of, of axolotl. Now this, now this puts in the axolotl mob, which we're going to be revealing in a little bit longer. Now I'm going to show you guys, the clock actually changed a bit. As you can see, it looks a little bit different. The texture is a little bit different. Also, we have a new, we have a new tool, the spyglass. And as you can see, you can see the wandering, the wandering tradesman, all the way out in the distance. And we can see a slack mine in our way. So it it did change. It was a circle, but now it's a square, which I really do like. So now, that's all the items. That's every single item. Now I gotta get everything in my inventory. So there um, we go. Next up, we have the block. And holy moly, we have a lot of blocks to get through. But right now, I want to classify one thing. These two blocks, in, in particular. These two blocks are the raw block of raw iron and block of raw coal, which drops the raw, with the uh, really drops the raw iron and raw raw thing. But as you can see, these two are exactly the same. So yeah, I just want to get. I'm gonna get through that that they did not change the texture of that. Just in case if any of you guys are gonna be wondering that. But let's grab let's first let's start with the walls. Then make our way down to the slabs. So right now we have different type of walls. We have polished deep slate wall. We have deep slate we have deep slate just normal deep slate brick wall, deep slate tile wall, and deep cobbled deep slate wall. I might, I might need these things longer. These things are gonna be huge. Jeez, this is really loud. It's really loud outside my door, guys. You don't know how loud it is. It is. Is there a train going on right now? I think there might be a train going on right here, guys. But right now, let's go on to the stairs. I believe the longest name right now that I can see of right now in Minecraft. I think it's this one. Wax weathered cut copper stairs. But this is the cut copper stairs. This is the wax explodes cut copper stairs. This is the oxidized co cut copper stairs. Deep slate tile copper Deep slate tile stairs. Pulse deep slate slow stairs. Deep slate brick stairs. Exposed cut copper stairs. Wax oxidized cut copper stairs. And wax weathered cut copper stairs. We have more. Oh, never mind. We don't have more. Whoopsie. Alrighty. I'm just making sure that everything's a whole hunky dory. Alrighty. I got some more. Let's go on to the blocks. Let's go on to Deep Slate. Now, Deep Slate is probably one of my new favorite blocks. I love Deep Slate, it looks so cool. But this is, I think, cobbled deep slate. Cobbled deep slate. Chiseled deep slate. Then we have cracked deep slate bricks. Then we have deep slate bricks. Cracked deep slate tiles. Deep slate tiles and Paul. Oh, whoop, that's blackstone. <laughs> Whoopsie. That is blackstone, sir. I don't know if like normal deep slate or not, but I couldn't find normal deep slate, so yeah. 
Alright, so we... Right, I gotta go over this too. I right, let's do this. This is block of raw copper, which drops the raw copper um item. So yeah. This is probably my favorite block so far. This is tinted glass. And as you can clearly see, this tinted glass will not let any light through. So if you're gonna make like a horror map and you want no light to go on one side to keep it nice and ambient, then not let any light through, this could be a really helpful tool. I really do like it. So yeah, that is probably one of my new favorite blocks. I really like it. Really like it. And we're not even done the blocks yet. We still have all the copper to go through. Now this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is every single copper block. Full block. Alright, so here we're gonna go. We're gonna go through this quickly, okay? So here. Block of copper. Weathered copper, wax block of copper, exposed copper, wax exposed cut copper, wax cut copper, oxide cut copper, exposed cut copper, weathered cut copper. I'm getting whack. I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting just tired out just by saying this, man. But holy crap! Oxidized copper, cut copper, wax exposed copper. Wax, weathered copper, oxidized copper, oxidized cut copper. Where we are, oh my gosh, we're not even done the blocks yet. There's still, there's still more to go. I have a whole other thing of it. And now finally we have the slabs. The slabs are the ones that are going to be pretty interesting. Okay, so all the are cut copper slabs. So cut copper slab, exposed cut copper slab, weather cut copper slab, oxide cut copper slab, wax cut copper slab, wax exposed cut copper slab, wax weather cut copper slab, wax oxidized cut copper slab. Then we have a couple deep slate slab. We're gonna put these all away quickly. We're gonna go nice and quickie quickie. Paul deep slate slab, deep slate tile slab, and deep slate brick slab. I love the sound of copper. It sounds similar to netherite, but not really. I really like it. And you probably wonder why I had the bone meal on me. You'll see what I mean. I probably have to get it out. I'm just gonna keep it in inventory. Cause the thing might be next. Alright, so now the ores. Okay, so we're gonna go over all the ores, okay? I'm gonna get every single ore. Every single ore is gonna be on the table. Okay, cause there's different types of ores too. Because they, because they made some of the ores blend in with the environment, and I really like that. And it's, and it's turning night again. Yay! Okay, so this is gold ore. As you can see, it looks a little different. Then we have the new lapis ore, deep slate gold ore. Now, not to be confused with this, it still drops gold. Deep slate diamond ore. It just, it just looks look really cool. Deep slate lapis ore, deep slate redstone ore, which I don't think. Hold up. Does it? Okay, it does. Interesting. Alright, coal ore. Emerald ore. Redstone ore. Put these all away. We're gonna grab all these. Iron ore. Diamond ore. Deep slate iron ore. Copper ore, deep slate emerald ore, and deep slate copper ore. And that is just the ores. That is just the ores. I believe I got all the ores. If I'm missing one, then I'm really stupid. I'm not missing one. Okay, let's start. Let's go, let's go to the lush caves. Let's, ex let's explore lush cave territory quickly. Alright, so, so far in the lush caves, we do have a lot of really cool stuff. As I said before, moth carpet. We have grass. But this is so welcome. Then we have this tree. Now, I cannot put this in here because this is what the bone meal is for. So, I'm revealing the trees later. So, I'm going to put, this is the azalea tree. This is the flowering azalea tree. 
This is what the bone meal is for. I'm gonna be revealing this later. So I'm gonna throw this one. I like this. I'm gonna throw this one. I like that. Now don't now remind me that is there. Now let's quickly cut over to the moss block. Because we need to use this moss block for some very important. We need to put a flower underneath it. Now as any flower, a spore blossom. And these spore blossoms create the particle effects. And they do look really pretty. Now, that, now this is probably my most favorite block. The drip leaves. Can you go back? Alright, there we go. I like that a lot. That is really cool. They have the small then we have the small drip leaves. Hello? Hold on. Oh. I see. I see those small drip leaf plants only being placed on top of moss blocks. Actually no. Now this is the flowering azalea leaves and the azalea leaves. I'm going to be showing you guys these little trees at the end of the video. So right now, let's go on to uh, let's go on to some more um, more deep some more deep slate. There's a lot of deep slate. Right, I forgot. I forgot about an ore. It blended in so that's that that's not deep slate. We're looking for deep slate. Let's get everything else ready to roll. All right, let's hop back over here. All right. So this is deep slate coal ore, which I for did forget to do, but I don't like this. I think it's probably my least favorite because you cannot even see the the. You can't even tell if that's coal or or just like this, or it could be like this, or this. Like it could it could it like here if we like fly up high, it really does blend in. Um. Right, so we're almost done with the blocks here. Holy crap. This update is going to be humongous. Holy crap. Alright, so this is tough. And I thought it was marble. But it is actually... Calcite? I'm pretty sure it's calcite. And these are really cool. This is the dripstone block. This is where the dripstones will come out of. Which is really cool. This is an amethyst block. This is the budding Amazon amethyst block, which this is the things that the thing with that the um, amethyst crystals growing on it. But sadly, you cannot mine these. You can only mine these. What is it? These are rooted dirts, and this is what the roots are for. So rooting dirt, these roots over uh, where are they? Oh no, they disappeared, didn't they? Crap, they despawned. Alright, so you know what? Since that day despawned, I'd rather show you guys these quickly. I'm just gonna hop these in my inventory. Put them down here, and I'm showing you guys the trees at the end of the video. Now, we're on to my favorite part yet the mobs. There we go. And I made this fence for the goat. But I'm pretty sure the goat's gonna get out. Go! <laughs> Baby goats. Oh, it's so like you. Oh, there's. Oh, look, there's stuff like. Oh, look at them jump. Oh, wait, they're not jumping. Hold on. Jump, guys. For the views. I guess don't want to jump. No jump? Really? None of you guys are going to jump. Yeah, get out of here. Now, a really cool thing with the goats, and it's completely useless, and I don't know why you would do this. This goat would stay still. You milk the goat, you know what it does? Absolutely nothing. Because it's literally the same thing as cow milk. And now, we're going to go to the axolotl, because we're going to start with the... Oh, we're going to take this one last. Right, axolotl. These things are so freaking... I'm gonna spawn my whole pack of in there. These scenes are adorable. Look at that face, they're so cute! Now these scenes, you can tame them and you can fight off against 
the drown you can fight off against. You found against the guardians, all the guardians. Like these things are really, really helpful if they want to be your sidekick. And now, the mob that I'm probably the most disappointed in. I'm gonna dig this a little bit deeper. Can I give a quick F in the chat for this one? The glow squid. One thing that's cool, the only thing that's cool about it is when you find it. That's probably the only cool thing. That's the only, the only redeeming th quality of the glow squid. If you kill it, you get the glowing ink sack. Which is really, really cool. Except that... Look at I'm looking at it. You know in, in Emoji in Live Studio? I'm gonna play the clip quickly. I might play a clip on it. Yeah, I'm not gonna play no clip. <laughs> But, you guys know that, um, Tiny Angus, and Tiny, um, Tiny Vu, um, no, 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 not him. Tiny Angus and Tiny, uh, I don't remember his name, but, um, uh, they were distracted by this They were, like, hypnotized. They were brainwashed. So, I thought this thing would, like, draw your attention towards it, and it will, like, keep you looking at it for a very long time. But it doesn't. Look at I'm literally looking right at it. The cool thing about it is like, And the most redeeming part is when you finally get that glowing ink sack for that one stupid thing that you do not even want. But there we go. That is all the blocks, mobs, and items from the 1.17 update. I'm really excited for this really awesome update. This is just the first part of it. All of this is just the first part of the Caves and Cliffs update, and I'm so excited to see 1.18 holds for us. We're going to get the Warden boss, we're going to get the new cave generations, the new mountain ranges, we're going to get the bundle, we're going to get, we're going to get, like, a bunch of other items, we're going to get a few new mobs, we're going to get some, uh, different structures, we're going to get, like, the, the brush, we're going to get the ability to, like, shave down blocks, we're going to get, like, the archaeological sites. It is a long road, and we're going to be getting that at the holiday release on either December or November. I'm counting on December. But don't get your hopes high up, and I'm just going to spawn a bunch of axolotls, because why not? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Axolotl Army! And I'll see you guys next time. But until then, peace.